Welcome back. This little video is just about how to use your graphics calculator to solve simultaneous equations. It's really straightforward. So if we look at this nice basic simultaneous equation and we go from the main menu, we pick 8 for equation. And the first screen we get is number of unknowns. So that's how many variables you need to find. So in this case, and in most cases you're going to deal with, it's 2. And the important thing to notice here is this bit at the top of the screen. This tells you the format your equation has to be in in order for you to input the right coefficients. So it's got to be ax plus by equals c. So looking at our two equations, we already have that in the right order. So all we now need to do is put in our coefficients. So for the first one, it's going to be a is 5, b is 3, c is 35. So we just input them, 5 and it moves along automatically which makes it really easy and then 35 and then for the second one 3 2 and 23 and when you've input them obviously you can check if you want to change any you can just move around with the arrow keys and then when you're ready you can just press F1 for solve and that's it so it gives you our solutions which are x equals 1 and y equals 10. Now, if we want to do a slightly more complicated one, so often you'll get these in, say, mechanics, where you've worked out some value, and instead of having nice whole number coefficients, you have decimals, then this is when using a graphics calculator is perfect. So going back we're doing two unknowns. Now obviously the issue here, and we can clear these if we want to, is that these are currently not in the right format. So you have to make sure that not only are they something x plus something y equals something, or in this case t and m, but that you have the t and m in the same order in each equation. So I mean once you get practice with this you won't need to actually rearrange it. But when you're first getting used to it, it's worth just rewriting them so that you know that it's going to be right. So we need to make sure that for the next one it's the T first and then the M. So this is going to be a minus 2.3 M and then equals 1. And then we can put it in. So 1.85 and 3.9 and then 1 minus 2.3 and 1. And once that's all in, then we just solve. 